So if you want your ball to hook sooner in the lanes or later on the lanes, there's a few things that you can do. You can move your mark, you can change balls, you can change your ball speed, or you can use some grit pads to change the surface of your ball. And I'm gonna talk about that coming up next. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so if you wanna change the surface of your bowling ball, it's a great way to get your ball to hook sooner, hook later, to just change the reaction down lane. Note that you cannot change the surface of your ball in a sanctioned league or a sanctioned tournament once play has started. But during the warm-up time or beforehand, you certainly can do this, okay? So basically the rule of thumb is if you want your ball to pick up sooner, to hook sooner, and I'm talking about reactive balls, urethane balls, things like that, you don't wanna change the surface on a plastic ball or a ball that's meant to go straight for spares. But on your reactive balls, you can do this, and the rule of thumb is the lower the grit number, like 500 for example, that will pick up sooner, that will hook sooner. On the opposite end, the higher the number, that will go down lane longer before it hooks, okay? So the four pads that I keep in my bag are 500 grit, 1000, 2000, and 4000. I use the 4000 the least, that's more like a polish, and that pad works most effectively when you have a ball spinner or something like that. But with the lane conditions that we have today, I use the other pads, especially if I'm going to a tournament and I'm not really sure what the oil pattern is going to be or how my balls are going to react to it, I will use different surface in warm-ups. I'll take my 500 grit pad and hit a ball with that and then throw it down maybe board five and see what happens if I don't know what the oil pattern is or how the ball is going to react on it. And then if I want my ball to hook earlier, I'll keep that 500 surface on it. If I wanted to hook down a little bit later, I might change to a thousand or 2000. And the nice thing about these pads is once you change it, it's not set in stone. You can change it again. Or maybe you like how your ball comes out of the box and you want to keep that, but after maybe 20 games, 30 games or more, you're noticing that your ball isn't reacting as much, you can hit it with one of these pads again to get it back to that surface that you like. So to use one of these pads, I have an Avalon pad here. This is a thousand grit. You basically take your ball and you want to go evenly with a little bit of pressure over the entire surface in circles on your ball. Okay. You want to hit the whole thing. You can kind of see, I think how it's changing a little to a little bit more of a snowy color. <laughs> And you want to make sure you get over the whole surface evenly. Now, if you happen to have a ball cup that you can put on a table at the bowling center, that's a great way to do it. Or if you had the inside of a roll of tape, that little cardboard thing, that actually works like a great ball holder. But you can also just do this or sit down with it. It's probably a little easier. And you go around the whole surface of the ball and that will change where your ball hooks on the lane, either closer to you or further down lane. So I hope this is helpful to you guys. I would love to hear from you. Feel free to put it in the comments if this is helpful or how you change the surface or how you make your ball change where it hooks down lane. If you got something from this video, I'd appreciate you liking the video. And as always, if you wanna stay updated with the videos that I drop on bowling tips and tricks and things like that, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss videos that I drop in the future. Thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate you. See you next time.